Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. As we all know, Halloween is approaching us. So exciting. So I thought we would start early this year so we can make as many Halloween DIYs as possible. I'm gonna go ahead and start my Halloween DIYs in the month of September. So let's get started. All right, let's get started with the first project. So today we are making these really cute plants. From Dollar Tree, you're gonna pick up three of these little guys. So you're gonna pick up three of those. Dollar Tree also sells these, mainly in the, the spring to summertime. That's when I got these, so I don't really know if they still have them, but it comes in a pack of three. And then we're just gonna pull out the actual fake succulent. You're also gonna need, you'll need three pots, three of your choice succulents or whatever kind of maybe you want to use a rose I, they sell roses at Dollar Tree as well you're gonna need all kinds of different paint so it's black you have dark blue a deep violet white a light blue red and a different shade of purple and you're gonna need several different brushes you can have a sponge would be nice like a sponge brush or a just fluffier bigger brush this one's angled I grabbed two different ones because I don't know which ones I'm gonna need these little brushes are gonna be for when we use the white, and this is a different fluffier brush. It's a smaller one. Some type of rock to fill in different ones here. And then you'll need a hot glue gun. We have different sets of like eyeballs here. We have, these are yellow eyes, and then these are green cat eyes. Let's get started. So we're first gonna paint our pot. So just paint the entire pot black. All right, so now that you have your pots entirely painted, I did three coats of paint, and I also did the rim and a little bit down on the inside. We are gonna go ahead and start painting our plants. So I'm gonna first give this entire thing just a quick dab of black all over it. I'm not gonna be like too crazy about like fully coating it, because I'm gonna go back through with other colors. And I am painting the stem a little bit so I'm making sure I get down where the little stem part is with this one I'm actually going to go through with my deep violet color just a little squirt and we're using like a different like fluffy brush to dip into that and I'm just kind of randomly putting it on the ends of the the leaves here I'm mainly focusing this purple color on the inside of the leaves and not so much on the back part or the outside of the leaf. Okay, we're moving on to the next. stippling this on in random spots. Okay, so what I ended up doing was going through all three of them with a coat of black. And then you saw me do the purple on this one. This one, I took some of the dark blue color and I painted the inside. I like that it still looks black, but it has like a slight pop of color in there. It's very hard to tell. This one has some red added to it, so it's like black with a dark red. It's very subtle, which is perfect. That's what I want. So it literally just looks black. Camera's not really picking up the color here, but there is hints of different blues on here. Pick up one of our little pots here. I'm gonna use some white paint. On here, I'm going to write with my little, my fine point brush. Set this down so I have it steady on the table. And you can write whatever you want. I'm going to write boo. So there you have the word boo. This one's going to say spooky. If you don't feel good about freehanding, 
you can always just like go get stickers from Dollar Tree. They sell like letter stickers and you can just like put those on here. And I think it will still look just as good. But I kind of like the free handedness of it, like the look of it. Like even if you mess up, it's still gonna look good. It just adds to that like spooky eerie vibe. Okay, that one's a spooky. And then this one, I'm going to write eek. We can either leave our rocks white or I have like different colored ones here. I was thinking about painting them with black. Painting these aren't working as well, so I don't, I don't really know if I recommend them. It might take a while to do. Okay, so I'm just taking some rocks. I'm going to place the hot glue onto the rock and then just drop it down inside. And I'm gonna keep doing that until I fill up about halfway with it. And then I'm gonna make sure I take my succulent, push it down in the middle of that, just to make sure it is secure. Okay, I just wanted to point out, as you're filling your little pot with the rock and you're gluing them down, it's just so that they don't move around because if you pick it up and move it, you don't want the rocks to fly everywhere. I mean, you don't have to glue them down, but I'm going to. I want to point out that in the middle, you kind of want to leave the center, like a little, just a small area where you're able to stick your stem down in there that your succulent fits into the pot. Now, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to take an eyeball here and glue it onto the succulent just to give a little creepier vibe. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna apply hot glue just on the tip of this eye. And I got these eyes from Hobby Lobby, I do believe. So I'm just pushing that in the center of the succulent here. I'm gonna hold it for like 15 seconds just to make sure that hot glue dries and that the eyeball is standing straight up. Now you can't really do this with every succulent plant. I just know this one in particular you're able to because there is a small gap in the middle here. Perfect for the eyeball. So this is that first one I showed you up close earlier. But there's really no space in the middle to put an eye. You could put eyes on the outsides or just place them in there randomly if you want. And there's really not much of a space here. But this one had a space. Put the eye right there. And if you wanted to do a much cheaper version of that, Dollar Tree does sell the dark purple and the black roses, and they have like eyeballs in there. And you guys will be able to see it since my camera's not picking up on a lot. So I was accidentally rubbing my fingers right here around the edge, and it kind of exposed the natural tone of the pot, and it almost looks kind of rustic in a way. And I really like that. You could just take your finger and just rub ever so slightly and it rubs the paint off. I don't even know if you guys can see that or not. So sorry if you cannot. So this would be the finished pot. And you can paint these stones black if you want to. If you liked any part of this video, please give it a thumbs up for me. I really appreciate that. That helps me out so much. As a small creator that is still growing, thank you to all my new subscribers. I'm so happy a lot of you guys are enjoying these Halloween DIYs. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to miss any of my future videos, don't forget to hit that notification bell. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, I love you.